Well, that does bring up a question uh, when you think of Dumb and Dumber. If, if you had to sort of sit down and work out in your head what it is to be dumb. I like, can't act that. I right. Can, and I tried early on. I'm going, I'm not dumb enough. I'm too dumb. I'm not. It has to be specific. You, every actor has to find the key. And um, that was the key to me. For wh 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 why, however it made sense, why it made sense, I don't know, but it was like, he has an IQ of eight. So the key was describing a value to his dumbness. Yes, and then, smartly, when you're with Jim Carrey, Jim is a comedic tornado, and you want him to be that. You want him to do what Jim does. So he's gonna lead. And Jim had said, I want an actor in that. I don't want a comedian. A comedian will just try to top me. Um, an actor will listen and react and also make me listen and react. It's a buddy-buddy movie, so hire an actor. So Jim got me that job and kept me that job. What do you mean kept you that job? Well, the studio wanted a comedian and the Farrelly's and Jim wanted me. And so we went to Breckenridge, Colorado and shot the first week. We shot Riding on the Scooter. Um, we shot the Tongue on the Pole. We shot the Snowball in the Head. You felt Jim, like you were kind of auditioning the whole first week. Jim worked one morning that first week. Okay, so you say that and I immediately go, that's the devious way that Hollywood works. Like, they're gonna shoot all your stuff, one look, one location, you're in Breckenridge. If this guy doesn't work out, it's only gonna cost us 600,000. There were people 000. on call that first weekend. And you call. knew that? Didn't know it till about Thursday when I realized that Jim was just hanging around. Right. And those scenes were all shot, and I waited for the call to pick up on Monday, or I'm not gonna get picked up on Monday, because I know that back in LA, with the Farrelly's and Breckenridge and Jim, they're all looking at the dailies and they're doing either a rough cut or something. And decisions are being made. You get a call time, okay? I come in, no one said a word to me. And Jim walks into the makeup room and just leans, puts his hand on my shoulder, leans in and says, they love what you're doing, keep it, keep it up. Kept walking. 